How are you guys? I got some uh, 22 gauge uh, stainless steel wire here and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a, a survival snare with this wire. Uh, say if you're in a survival situation and you got rabbit wire but there's a fox hanging around the area or it could be a lynx. Uh, you could uh, braid this wire together to make a, a heavier, stronger snare to be able to catch those larger animals. And uh, now, to do this, uh, to make these snares now and set them for fox and link is illegal. But in a survival situation, of course, you would do it. But where I'm to right now, I'm going to make this snare and uh, sit in for an arty hair. And so, first thing you're going to do. Make sure I don't kink it or anything. Uh, you know, since this is for uh, demonstration purposes, well, this call is 20 foot long, so I'm just going to break it down into turds and make one snare. Uh, obviously, you know, in a survival situation, you want to use up the least amount you possibly could so you have more left over, you know, to sit for a rab or something else. But if you want to catch a bigger animal, larger animal, like a fox or a link, you could do this and definitely catch them. And, uh, and if need be, you can unbraid the wire again, you know, and use it for rabbits as well. But so, like I said, no, just just for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to try to. Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll just go six foot, another eight inches or so. Now I'm going to put a kink there like that. I'll put my gloves on for this. <laughs> and you know, the lens haven't got to be right perfect, but. Yeah. Let's break that one clear. That's one piece. Six foot. Yeah. yeah. Snap that clear like that. So this is the ends of the three pieces of wire. Each piece is uh, six foot eight inches roughly. So the first thing I do Put the tree ends together and to make an eye. And you want your eye strong, you know, because if you're trying to catch a fox or a lynx or something, you want that eye to straighten out and loosen, right? In a survival situation, you don't want to make too many mistakes for sure. Yeah. You nip that wire good. It's a little bit hard. <laughs> They're cut, they told me, don't help <laughs> at all. But uh, that should be all right. So, what I do now. This little wire is a little bit curly, <laughs> but I loosely braid it, just one like that, one over the other. It's not a tight braid; it's a very loose braid. And but, uh, before I start that, I'm gonna try to straighten this wire a little bit, or it'll uh, wind up on me. Just one over the other, huh? just like that. But it's gonna be a very loose braid. You gotta keep pinning the wire behind you a little bit. If not, you'll be all snarled up. If I was standing up, it'd clear. It'd be a little, you know, I'd be flicking these wires a little more. <laughs> and this, this will work. And like I said, now it's illegal. You can't do this now and just go in it and sit it for fox and lynx, but in the in a survival situation, well, that changes everything, right? So, and you want like the, the braid in, it's a very loose braid. I'm not sure if you've seen it. You clear it up behind you as you go, and one over the other one, and then one over the other, one over the other, like that. But like you say, you gotta clear it behind you, or you're gonna have a snarl. Very loose, like I said, you don't hollow too until you keep everything loose, and that's great too because you're not going to damage your wire if you wanted to take it apart and use it again after, right? And watch this one kind of lying. I'm, I'm actually going to set this one for early here and around here. Now I'm going to have to turn around a rock or something, so, so a bit extra length, 
certainly help in that. Just see, here she goes. As you come towards the end, it'll get a little easier. And sometimes now your wire will snarl up a little bit. Don't worry about that. Like I said, the main thing is not to kink this wire. If you get like two rambunctious and <laughs> start yanking and plucking at it and all that. You see that in there? Straighten that out there a little bit. That's what hooks up back behind. Take your time, no matter what you do, because <laughs> nothing is never hurting going to be working 100% as planned. So you just gotta just take your time and work through it. We're just left. only three strands, so just one over the other. But you want like two, two, double that, make it kind of long, like you know, really, really long. a few bells with me from uh, Big Boy there because you could tell there's not a lot of stuff around here but you could just use rocks or something but uh, for this video mostly I just want to show you how to make this snare and believe uh, me the snare will work looks like I have one a little bit long that line like that you know you know we want to take this part and use it again after so now let's see your eye you made and just look at that no oh, six foot line one fetum So, you know, if you got some weak wire, you could do this, and uh, even if you have really weak wire, you could do this just to catch a rabbit, too, you know? Great. Two strands together. And... Yeah, for right here, now, you know, definitely don't need this line, but uh, like I said, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to have to tie an off on, so, so extra length is certainly going to help there. And, right? It's your snare, and then if you wanted to, you could come back and just and braid everything again, and you still got your wire, you know. So I was down down and just come back here, and uh, this valley here, uh, the rabbit kind of runs down through this valley. So I think that'd be a super place, you know, uh, for uh, to put a snare for already here. Uh, you know, <laughs> the hills and all that's pretty barren, so you know you got very slick few, very slick few places you can put these snares. So. I think this probably would be as good as a location as you're going to get. So I'm going to set it up and uh, see how it works out. I took a rock here to tie the snare on to, and you see it's quite a large rock. Uh, don't need that big, you know, but uh, but uh, there's also a tree right here. If I get down low, I might be able to tie off on him. I have to check that out there, I guess. All right, yeah, so I'm going to tie the snare off here, and the snare's lying because I don't want the snare too far over to the side of the channel as well, kind of towards the center, at least towards the center a bit, right? So I think that's what I'm going to do there, and that rock, I'll just use that as a part of the uh, the wall, you know, to block it off from, you know, where the snare is too, the only place he's going to be able to go through. 
you know, really, I guess, is just a bigger version of a rabbit snare. <laughs> Uh, you know, right here, just bigger and stuff. So just bigger wire, a little bigger on the round and a bit higher. Uh, I never set that one before, so I put a little crossbar on top there just to make sure that the the snare ain't uh, uh, too low. That way it'll keep his head down. Uh, and I also got a chin-up stick. Well, this is the first for me, so uh, I guess we'll see how how it works too. Wouldn't be surprised if I come back in the snare, you know, he went not nervous or something or not, you know, but, you know, you got to try, right? And same thing in the survival situation. If you don't try, you're not going to be successful. Well, what a view I got right here today. That's Black Bear Island right there, and that's the Ragus. You see a bit of water on over around the Ragus there, and further out there's Cape Harrison, and, you know, now down along through the inside run there, and Helvick Bay is in there, and this is line tickles, and... And uh, big boy is right there. 